Hi, my name is Paul Sanderson, and in this short video, I'm going to show you the new Speech Bubbles report feature for the Forensic Browser for SQLite. I've already opened the database, and you can see from the tables in the top right pane that uh, this is from an iOS SMS uh, DB. I expect most of you are familiar with this. I'm going to quickly go straight into our first or only query uh, by right clicking on the SQL pane and choosing our global history and choose the last query that was uh, run. So that then populates the SQL and the visual query portion and we can go straight into running the query. We can see below that this includes the text from all the messages, the date, uh, which is not a very user friendly form, so we need to decode this. So we can right click on it. Uh, pretend that I don't know the format and choose identify date and we can see it's now an NS date choose OK and the report is rerun and we've got a, a user friendly date format a boo boolean column which is a one from a, for a message which is from me and zero if it's not the ID uh, identifying who I'm communicating with and the service whether it's SMS or iMessage that's everything I need for our speech bubbles report. So I can now go to the report menu and choose export as speech bubbles. This is where we can determine how our bubble report will look. First thing to do is select the pivot column. This is a column that determines whether a message goes on the left or the right as the bubbles are displayed. So we said before this is the is from me column. And when a message is from me, i.e. when this is true, or one, we want this to go on the left. There's nothing in the report down here that says who the main user is, i.e. who I am. So we can type this in, uh, and we can choose to display that at the top left of the report. This generally, this box here generally describes where the different items appear in the report. Uh, on the top right, we want the ID, which is the uh, ID of the uh, person that I'm uh, communicating with. Uh, the next column we could choose, uh, for instance, if, there's, if there was a subject for a message, uh, but we're just going to display the text. Uh, we can display a second item, so we could have the subject above, we could have the text there. And down below, we want, to, in this case, just to have the date and the service, which is uh, would be SMS or iMessage. And we can now preview this and get a, a brief idea of how this looks, and we can see it down here. Lime green possibly a little bit too bright, so we can change that to say money green and preview again. Uh, once we're happy with the basic layout of the report, we've got the different items where we want them, we can choose OK uh, and then we can save the report and we can see it displayed in the bubble format.